Alessia, welcome back to my channel. First of all, long time no see. I missed you guys so much. The first thing I literally have to say is I'm sorry for not posting. It's literally been like a month and I will tell you why. It's because I went to LA and it was fun and all, but I didn't really get that much content recorded. So that's my bad. And I've also been moving. You could see the boxes in the back right there. So I've just been really busy and stressed out. So I didn't really have time. I'm just a lazy fuck. But yeah, I miss you guys so much. How have you guys been? Have you missed me? Anyway, I'm not even trying to make this intro long. I say this every time and then it ends up being like five minutes. But I promise you this time, no. One thing I do want to say is make sure you subscribe if you're new to the family. Welcome. Welcome. And follow my interest, inst Instagram. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And yeah, if you guys don't know what this video is, read the title. I'm kidding. It's a pamper little shower routine because Sometimes you just need a day to work on yourself. Either you're really musty or you just like want to focus on yourself for a day. Either way, keep watching. Okay, since we're having a little like pamper day, I'm gonna do a hair mask. So this is the Arbonne True Hair hair mask. So let's do that. Um, as you can see, I literally just woke up. I look like I'm literally about to fall over and pass out. I'm also gonna wet it a bit so the product like sinks in. Honestly, every time I use this hair mask, my hair looks so fucking good after. By good, I mean like less dead. Okay, so we're just gonna let this sit for like half an hour. I really love forms of self-care, especially like a little pamper routine, which is why we're like, this is like why I'm promoting this shit, you know? Having a day to just focus and take care of yourself is so good for your like mental. Um, The next step, by the way, oh my God, is plucking my eyebrows. I caught that midair, by the way. Honestly, I have not posted on YouTube. I think it's been like a month and a bit. So I'm really sorry. I just had a busy, I had a really busy summer. I went to LA. I'm gonna see if I could put some clips together to make a little vlog for you guys. So we'll see. No promises though. But yeah, I've just been at peace with myself, you know. Um, I'm gonna get on my YouTube grind again. I promise. Like I actually promise. I'm gonna try to have videos every week. It's gonna be hard with school, but like, you know what, we'll try. I'm also extremely scared to get my eyebrows waxed because once i did and now my eyebrows like are uneven i don't know if you guys could tell but like i could tell okay next i have this little um like razor thing i shave my face with this sometimes because it like makes makeup and skin products set into your face way better i really recommend it by the way that's a myth that the hair grows back um longer and faster that's not like a thing so don't worry We're up close and personal. So when I have a little pamper day, next I like to use a face mask. I usually do that when I'm done doing my eyebrows. I don't know why, it's just like a routine. So today we are using a brand that I cannot pronounce, but like the face mask is really good, I swear. I swear I use this face mask in so many videos, like it's kind of embarrassing. It's not the only one I have, I swear. A lot of people say that it's like really bad to lather face masks on your face, but I, <laughs> I lather this shit, bitch. I don't put a little small layer. I make sure everything is covered. Like I'm gonna look like a Smurf after this. Yeah, I really do look like a Smurf. So we're just gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna go like water my plants or something. So you guys can come with me, I guess. Let's go. my birth control in the background. That's cute. Can someone make an edit of like sexy clips of me in the shower? I don't think they'll be too sexy, but we can try. Okay, so today I'm using a clarifying shampoo which just takes off buildup on your hair and usually when there's too much buildup on my hair, 
my curls are not looking their best, so I try to use this at least once a week. Next, I'm going in with a leave-in conditioner just so I could have as much moisture as I possibly want. Um, this gives so much moisture to my hair. I love it so much. It comes out so soft after. This is me literally snatching my own weave off because of how terrible this brush is. Okay, so I don't know where my brush went, so I use this piece of shit. And let me tell you, I did not notice how good wet brushes are today until I use this piece of shit. Go get a wet brush right now. Look how much hair I just lost. That's not okay. <laughs> Next, I just like to put apple cider vinegar in my hair to let it sit with my conditioner. This is also a clarifying agent, so I don't do it all the time. Next is washing my face and uh, sometimes in the shower I like to use this little loofah hand scrubber thing just to lightly exfoliate. Do not press too hard with one of these because you will like rip your skin off and that's not good. Okay, now here's me literally shaving every single inch of my body so I feel like a baby's butt. Okay, next I'm just going in to wash my body with this loofah, which also exfoliates. Okay, and now we are squeaky clean, bitches. Okay, so moving on to skincare, today we're going to use this amazing brand called Peng Kong Yo. Honestly, the first thing that caught my eyes about this skincare brand is the packaging. I mean, obviously that's the first thing that would catch my eye, but like, look how pretty the packaging is. I try to aim towards skincare brands that go for acne, and this, let me tell you, if you're struggling with acne, this is the brand for you. I was like really stressed out, and for a week straight, I just kept breaking out, and then I started using these, and it not only cleared like, not everything, but it cleared my skin. And then while using it, there was just so many like other benefits as well that I like compared to other like skincare brands. These ingredients not only take care of blemishes, but they promote healthy and glowing skin. Let me tell you, you'll see. Just wait till I try them on. They don't use harmful ingredients and it's amazing to use for acne prone skin. Also, these results are long-term, not only from my experience, but the brand claims that as well. And let me tell you, they're not wrong. Like after a week or two into using these, I just didn't get any more pimples for a while. Like they just didn't come and I was like, oh, okay. These three products also focus on nutrition and moisture to the skin, which is really good. Okay, so here we have the Essence Toner. This is probably my favorite product in the whole line and let me show you why. First of all, it contains only seven ingredients, which are all natural. Because there are no unnecessary ingredients, this product will maintain skin balance, but it also doesn't give you excessive nutrition to the point where it leads to skin troubles. Okay, so this is my favorite product, also because I get to do this with it, let me show you. These are the cotton pads, and basically we're gonna do like a face mask with these and the toner. Okay, to start off, you're literally gonna wanna soak it. This has like a more viscous texture, not like any other toners I've ever experienced. So you're gonna wanna soak the whole cotton pad in. And then just apply it to your face. And the thing I like about these cotton pads is they're so thin that like, this will work. So I don't know if you guys heard of a toner face mask, but this is what it is. And you're gonna wanna leave this on for 15 minutes. Okay, and 15 minutes is up. I'm just gonna take this off.
And then there's still like a lot of um, excess toner, so I'm just gonna rub it in. Look how glowy my skin is right now. And I feel like that's also because of the consistency of the toner, but like literally look at my skin right now. I look like a glazed donut, like. Okay, next we have the Moisture Serum. If you're having skin trouble regarding moisture and oil balance, this is for you. And it really helps improve irritated skin as well. It also absorbs really quickly into your skin and it doesn't feel like sticky after using it. I know with some serums, like it just sits on your face. It does not absorb at all. And it's just sticky for at least like half an hour. Next, we have the Nutrition Cream. This is obviously the last step of your skincare routine and it keeps skin hydrated for a very, very long time, okay? If you have oily skin, apply a very, very thin layer of this. If you have dry skin, you can put on more. Um, it's not gonna make you like oily, so don't worry about that. I think my skin explains for itself how amazing this brand is, like, that's actually insane. I've never in my whole life seen my skin look like this, but every time I use this brand, it's just game over. I have a link in my description below if you guys want to go check them out, I highly suggest you do because you'll love it. Just to spice things up since this is a self-care day, I'm going to go in with my gua sha and roller. And the last step of my skincare is chapstick. Hey guys, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed making it. I just missed filming YouTubes for you guys. So I'm actually getting my grind again, I promise you. Please leave me some video suggestions down below in the comments, whatever you guys wanna see. I feel like that's why I procrastinate YouTube a lot too, because I don't know what videos to do. So please, if you want more videos, let me know in the description below what you wanna see from me. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends, subscribe, click the bell to get notified every time I post, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you.